Hello guys, I will tell you about another variation that I think is really good with Jackie Briggs. The best custom variation for Jackie Briggs is the one where she still has the bionic bounce and the air sharpener blast, but it's a modified one, you know, the one that does chip damage, the big blue bubble. That's the best variation, custom variation for Jackie. And that's the one we've seen in tournaments as well, used by Tekken Master and uh, the recent uh, offline tournament, the uh, We Play tournament. But this one, <coughs> I think is an amazing variation. Jackie, Jackie Cage, Jackie Cage, I keep calling her Jackie Cage. Jackie Briggs is so strong. So this one is the one with the, um, the cancels, right? I think this is an underutilized ability because it's only one slot. You can cancel one, two, three, four moves. So first of all, you can cancel this, which, you know, it kind of looks dumb. It's the sweep, but people are used to the sweep being twice. So if you just do this, I bet you that you can keep your turn like this. And the, the frames are really good. Minus three, right? You can do something like that. So that's the first one, the sweep. And then we have two, two, right? Usually the ender is two, two, four, this one here. But two, two is rarely used. There's no real reason to use it, except when you have the cancel, right? This is so goddamn strong and hard to react to and then from time to time you just end it because i'll try to take back their turn on your second hit so if you just let it rip the two other hits are going to hit them it's not hit confirmable you can't react to this hit hitting i don't think it's possible but it's just to keep your turn you do chip damage in the meantime and eventually you grab that's the purpose of these cancels for me anyways right so we have this one too so you, you either you can do that this one, the cancel, or you can do this, and if this touches, this hits, alright, even though you've not hit confirmed, you can keep your turn, or you can do this, and then from time to time, end it. But now your turn is completely over, and you'll have to block. But the way I use this is, right, I mix it up, and eventually I grab. And this does a lot of damage, because a grab almost always works. And since you're not advancing forward to grab, you're not taking a step like this, right? You're just already there it's even harder to see coming there's no tell and you have the 112 this one here now keep in mind to do these cancels you have to input the whole thing right 112 and then left trigger like that so this one here you can stop it there you can stagger it 1 1 which is plus 2 1 1 2 you can just finish it and if it opens them up at the last second right if you do and it hits then you can hit confirm if you're able to react quick enough. So you have your cancels and you use your cancels to grab. That's how I use them. To grab and to keep your turn forever. And when you want to go for real damage, what you go for is you have this with the bionic bounce. <laughs> Not this, this here, right? And this converts off of the um, forward one two. The reason why bionic bounce is so good, first of all, there's unbreakable damage. Even if they break and you pop them up in the air. Let's say I put her on uh, breakaway fast. See, 284 unbreakable, or you can just keep it unbreakable the whole time. That's less damage, but... 275. It's always better to pop them up, and if they break, you just... <laughs> no, you don't do that. You do down, uh, down two, because you just get more damage if you're just gonna go for one bar. Otherwise, if you're gonna go for two bars, and you just want to keep it all unbreakable, you can finish it like this, 319. Or, you can pop them up, but let's see if they're gonna break away. Three hundred and seventy-four, all unbreakable. I think that was more than uh, when you. Which is yeah, that was actually more. So if she breaks away and you down two, it's more than if you just keep it all on all on the ground. So you're always incentivized to at least do this once. But the problem with doing that is that if you do that, you think they're gonna break, and they don't break. You see, you got two hundred and sixty-eight damage compared to. 275 which is a little bit more this is less sometimes I do this here and I just restand them it's less damage but it's plus six and you're in range for that and that usually opens them up again because they press the button so if they don't have bar at all and you have two bars you can go for something like this two hundred forty eight or Two hundred and fifty-seven. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. So yeah, this variation very good. I mean, try it out online. Cancels, right? So from time to time, you do that. You grab them, or 
you jump. Okay, so for example, if you've been doing this and grabbing the whole time, and they start reacting and they hit you, and you're like, all right, you can just end it, like I said, and then uh, hit them, or or you can just you know cancel it and hit them again, depending on how fast they react. Reacting to this, what I just did here, is really goddamn hard. This is very fast. All right, guys, that's it. You got the cancels and you got the bionic bounce for the extremely high damage. Extremely high unbreakable damage too. Alright guys, that's it. Have a good one. Like, comment, subscribe, bye.